Uh, that, that. Hey, what's chilling, dudes? It's Trooper here. Welcome to the first ever episode. Oh, hold on. Let me just finish this part. I need to go focus. Uh, yeah, hard on jetpack. And then I've got some platings in here. Where, which, where is it? I don't know where it is. What's chilling, dudes? Welcome to the first ever episode of Resident Rise Free with the Hypermind crew. Uh, currently, Fluent Chaos is on. Super cool. Uh, where is it? I had some hardened uh, armor stuff. Hold on, one second. Alright, does this work? Oh, got it, finally. Woo! Okay, we got a jetpack. Right, I was. I wanted to get a basic start, basically, uh, before we began the uh, Resonant Rise series. Woo! Yeah, flying. <laughs> Oh, I'm wearing different armor because I died uh, while caving. I needed. Oh. Uh, ignore. <laughs> ignore that. Alright, what's chilling, dudes? The strawberry here. Welcome back to another episode of Resident Rise 3. This is the third time I've said that. Right, uh, I've been basically getting some stuff stored. Uh, stuff. Stuff sorted. But I've got a few clips I want to show you guys before we begin the episode. And they're basically me just discovering my way around the server uh, before we began. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you in a bit and we'll get started. Whoa! Swim! Swim! <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Engineering diary, quest book. Let's see. Uh, how do we get out of here? What? Um, hmm. Let's see. How do we get up here? Do we, like, collect dirt? How does other people get up here? Holy bugger. Where is spawn? Head south. Which way south? Oh no, 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 no. I guess we go follow the light. I wonder what other people have built here. This is a pretty cool seed. Go away, spider. Right, which way do we go now? I see zombies trying to get me. No, 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 no. You're staying away. You guys stay away. Alright, let's... Up this tree, here we go. Well, no. Up, up the mountainside and then up the tree. Like that. Yes. Parkour experts. Is this where I finally see where spawn is, or what? I don't see spawn anywhere. Where spawn? Where is it? I've been hiking for days on end, and I cannot find the promised lands. The promised lands of Hyperbolus. The future Hyperbolus. The future modded Hyperbolus. And I don't see any means of food either, and I'm starting to get hungry. Soul chunk timer. Ooh! 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 Yay! Fla- Oh, not flowers, fireworks! Woo! Fireworks! I like fireworks. Woo! Woohoo! Yeah! Why can't I mine this stuff? I can't use wooden pickaxes. Oh, that's a shame. I wonder how you do stuff in this mod pack then. Well, I guess with like tinkers. I don't know how to do tinkers though. I found spawn. <laughs> Spawn's over here. I found it. This must be it unless it's someone's base. I hope it's spawn though. If it's not spawn, I'm going to go take shelter here anyway until I can go find spawn. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful spawn. Kind of, not really. I don't even know whether it's spawn or not. Hey, base. Oh, maybe it's spawn? Like, maybe someone took up the ruins as via spawn base? Hello? Future side of the Beporium. What? Whoa! Oh my god, that's awesome. Oh, this must be someone's base as well. Food! Yes! Food! Oh, beautiful, beautiful food. Apple orchard. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna go take a stack of apples. Because... 
I think it's somewhat obvious that this is going to continue making apples, whereas I've got no means to make apples. Oh my gosh. Help! I'm trapped! <laughs> Oh, right. Whatever. Ah, uh, ooh. Oh. 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 I will pulverize my flower. Oh, my wheat. So I get flour. Yes. Neat indeed. Ooh. Enchanting. Okay, what's up here? Albanecker's stuff. Don't touch. Is this Albanecker's place? Or is this a spawn house? Oh, this is spawn house. Oh, okay. I guess I will try that. That looks about right. The pa the tool rod. Let's see whether this works then. Bang. Bang. And bang. Clumsy. Skill level clumsy. Yay! I got a pickaxe! Woo! All on my own as well! Sweet! We need to go find a place to settle. Um, who lives over here? VT. VT Gamer? Who lives up here? I don't know who lives up here. Alright. I'm setting out for an adventure. I've been at TDC's place and I went and smelted some bronze in the smeltery. Also got an osmium longsword. Here we go. We are going to journey to the far lands. I don't know what we're going to find. I've got myself prepared. I've packed all my precious metals. We shall go to the far lands and we shall find a place to build Kiwi Corps. I found a civilization. Hello. Oh god. They look evil. Bye guys. <laughs> this seems a little bit like RuneScape in the sense that there are these cults. Hi. There are these culty people who you can attack. Or they attack you. Ah. Uh, bye, sirs. We're gonna run into this awesome looking civilization. I hope they're not hostile. I've had very few encounters with these sort of structures. I think they're from witchery. But they have guards, and the guards go kill the people for us. Hey. Hey, it's a guard. Hey, guard. I think we might. Ooh. Why is there an emerald here? I don't know why there's an emerald in here. I think we'll actually set up our base in here. This would be pretty... This would be a pretty cool area. Uh, yeah. I think we'll go set up in this village and we'll go help protect it. I think this will be a lot of fun. Uh, Alright. Uh, yeah, that, those clips were about... Uh, let's say a month ago now. Uh, I've been busy with the FTP Infinity series. Uh, but FTP... Ah. FTP? FTP Infinity is going to be taking a little bit of a break uh, while we go sort ourselves up with Resonant Rise. Also, this serves a little bit in a weird state at the moment. Uh, yeah, so I thought it would be a good time to get into Resonant Rise 3. So I've been doing some basic, some basic setup, basically. Bas basic setup, basically. My words are great today. So I've been mining quite a bit, and I've been using this setup, so pulverizers, alloy smelter, uh, to go smelt uh, the metals basically. Got a lot of metals, which means that we should be good for today's episode. Uh, got a windmill as well, wind turbine from mechanism generators, so providing us with power. Got a few uh, Ender IO conduits, uh, energy infuser for the jetpack, redstone furnace for like glass and whatnot, and an induction smelter for the Tinker's alloy ingots. So we to do just basic stuff, and uh, Tinker's smeltery as well. So, the goal of this series is I would like to go create a, a city, essentially, a city. <laughs> oh yeah, we are settled in this huge, awesome, I don't know what it is, a witchery settlement? I'm, I'm not sure what it is, or what it is, basically. Um, my goal for the series is I'd like to create a factory which provides its own renewable energy source. For example, a big reactor, a big reactor still requires like eulorium to function. I'd like to create a factory which doesn't require anything to function. I want it to be a self-replenishing energy source, but for it to basically provide a lot of energy. And I've got a setup basically uh, in my creative world, which I've been messing around with. So we'll go visit that and then we'll get back to this episode and we'll go begin on 
the setup. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Uh, we are going to head over to the creative world. Alright, so this is my design. This is uh, combining the steam turbine from Big Reactors, which is powered off steam, with uh, the steam boilers from Mine Factory Reloaded, and also a redstone furnace because that's uh, super speed. And uh, last of all, Mine Factory Reloaded tree farm over here with uh, Minecraft. Ah, not Minecraft Reloaded. Mine Factory Reloaded sewer composter setup, etc. Um, if you've ever played model before, you can pretty much guess what this is, but essentially this is a full-blown uh, big reactor with 80 propellers, 80 pro I think they're called, no, what are they called, 80 propellers, I think, I think they're called propellers, blades, okay, 80 rotor blades and 37 endurium blocks, and this is going to generate, when it has 2000 in the of oh, miller buckets of steam going through the system it will pr produce 24,000 RF per tick super super cool that's basically the max uh, you can put like steam in there while it being uh, sustainable honestly and you don't have to worry about it and then after that I've got a oh actually I might shift that over there oh okay so I've got a retrieval no which is uh, bringing more steam into here I didn't even realize that it was holding back uh, some of the steam I've got five steam boilers, I think each steam bo boiler, I'm not sure because there's no reliable source, but I think each steam boiler produces 400 uh, millibucket of steam, and once they reach 750 uh, degrees Celsius. There's no railcraft on this, um, so there's no steam, high pressure steam boilers over there anyway. Uh, got these steam boilers, uh, filling them all up with uh, charcoal and also water, water's pretty simple. And then uh, the charcoal's being produced by the single redstone furnace, and this will constantly keep providing more and more charcoal as it goes along. Uh, but the water's coming from this tree farm over here. So we've got a harvester. The harvester is uh, quickly harvesting all the oak wood and whatnot, which is being produced uh, with a combination of the fertilizer, which is getting its compost from this uh, from these 32 cows, which are going into two composters, and then the saplings are being planted by the planter. And yeah, after that, uh, the wood is being sent, oh, the saplings are being sent into here before they get sent into the planter. This is basically the uh, bulk, the buffer, the uh, excess storage area. The apples are being sent in here, and then the wood is being sent in here before it gets sent into the redstone furnace over here. I like this setup, it goes really well. And then uh, this all powers itself, we don't have to worry about it at all because 23,000, well by then 24,000 RF per tick. I don't think that this entire setup takes more than 24 RF per tick. I'd be surprised if it takes uh, over a thousand. Or probably even like 500. I'd be surprised if all of us takes 500. Well, probably the Redstone Venice would take the most power anyway. And then with this setup as well, you could easily set it up so you can go set it up on like the opposite side or you could produce more of it. So for example, we could easily make a second uh, turbine like over here for example, or just have the charcoal coming up from, like this all this really needs is charcoal and we've got the charcoal set up. Uh, so we could just have the transfer pipe going down there into like a tree farm which we expand on further notice. But if we ever need more power, all we need to do is increase our charcoal supply and then build another turbine basically right next to our previous turbine. And it, it works all fine. It's great. I love it. And that's what we're going to be working towards in the Resonant Rise Free World. So basically we just set up another turbine there and if we need more we just continue uh, along the line. We just need to increase the amount of charcoal we produce, which isn't too hard honestly. But yeah. I've been playing around. It's taken about three hours to get to that sort of design. Uh, I've been messing around like how wide can it go? And then over here I uh, got this pretty simple turbine. I think it's off actually. Huh, I think I accidentally turned it off. Don't know how anyway. Huh, how did I turn it off? Oh, there's the... Hmm, okay, never mind. Yeah, I've been playing around for about three hours. This one I found off the net, but uh, the entire setup, pretty simple, and it's yeah, it's just a combination of Mind Factory Reloaded along with uh, big reactors. That's what we're going to be working towards. But what we're going to need is Enderium, which means that we're going to need a soul, uh, a, a soul spawner with 
uh, Enderman basically for the end pearls. We are going to need uh, what else? We're going to need a lot of cy uh, cyanite, which means that we're going to need to make a big reactor with the purpose of creating cyanite from yellowite. And we're also going to need a tree farm, a lot of cows anyway. The cows aren't really too important. It should be cool though, this is a self-sustaining power setup. So yeah, let's move it back to the survival world. Do do do, we need three of these. Right, and uh, to end the episode, I think it'd be nice if we got a tree farm sorted. That way we can start working towards that idea of having the self-reliant uh, power system. Because we will need a tree farm eventually, and the tree farm will definitely help with our problems. Uh, so we'll... I've been working quite a bit actually. Can I use this? I'm not sure whether I can use it or not. Because on the server, basically all vanilla tools are disabled, so we have to use uh, Tinker's tools. Uh, but we can't use vanilla. I'm not sure whether we, we can use like the thermal foundation in our axes or so. But we need this. Uh, I've been getting some stuff sorted for the mine factory reloaded tree farm. So we've got the planter and the fertilizer already. And I had to go like a thousand blocks or so. Like exploring to find the rubber tree. Uh, we need gold scares. You can see I've been like exploring basically a lot. Just so we can get into this like extremely quick. In previous playthroughs I've gone like oh okay you can uh, experience the journey with me but this one is going to be a lot more technical so I'd like to get a lot of the stuff out of the way uh, before it becomes a little bit of a hassle. Right I need two more things. We're going to need some more rubber. I'm, I'm running a lot more quicker than I used to back in the day when I wasn't like so familiar with mods. I think in order to get into mods, you need to start in the single player world anyway. And then just have a guide to lead you where you want to go. Harvester, uh, tin. Right, let me do a lot of the stuff and then I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, it took a while to get all the machines ready and sorted for making the tree farm because I'm, I am in like the early stages so I don't have too many resources, plus I don't have an emmy system so a lot of the stuff is really really hard to make. But I've got the five different machines we need for the uh, tree farm plus a wind turbine so it will keep it uh, supplied with power anyway. Uh, I will get saplings later on when we need and we will also build the farm here because this is where our factory is going to be eventually. Like the factory is not going to be in there. Uh, I don't know what I'm planning to do with it but we will have the self-sustaining steam turbine factory thing over here eventually around here somewhere I don't know but we'll go make the tree farm here anyway I mean it's not too hard to make but to make it really early on like <laughs> make a tree farm really really early on I I hope it's gonna be really useful I, I don't know I've never made it early on and I haven't really missed too much with the mine factory reloaded uh, set up why am I why am I digging out dirt and then replacing it? Alright, five. We need a five by oh actually No 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 we can't do five by five. We'll do three by three for the moment because we need the tin upgrades if we're gonna do five by five. Let's see, like that. Okay, sweet. Right, what do we need? We need our harvester. Our harvester will go here. And then our uh, fertilizer, when we use it eventually, will go there. Okay, that's facing the wrong way. Fertilizer goes there. I've never made this in survival, so this should be very interesting to see how it turns out anyway. I'll server restart in one minute. I think I'll go cut here and I'll do a bit, and then I'll see you guys in a sec once the server is restarted. Oh dear, it's dark. This way. This way. This way. I've got a hole for you to live in forever. You can go poop and I shall harness your poop into the power of my tree farm. Yeah, that's right, cow. You're going to enjoy it. It is luxurious. It is first class. It is a first class hole. You also get wheat. Occasionally. When I feel like it. That's that's a boy. 
Oh, come on, just get in there. <laughs> God dang it. Yeah, I got the tree farm basically sorted. I'll show you... Pretty simple setup. Oh, there we go. Let's just... Meow. There we go. There we go. There's the cow. That's at least one cow. We might want to get some more later. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, I've got the wind turbine set up over here. Uh, I've got a leadstone energy cell taking energy from it just so it can store energy. Because you know how a wind turbine's energy can be inconsistent because the wind changes basically? And then I've got a, uh, I've got energy running through here. I've got uh, the harvester over here with a chest so it puts the wood and stuff into there. Got an item conduit sending hopefully saplings over to here, here when the trees are grown. And then the power also powers the harvester, uh, the planter, the composter. Oh right, we also need to go power. Uh, let's see, we also need to go power this over here. Which means that we could just get rid of these energy conduits. We kind of need all the energy conduits we can get. Uh, there, that should be powering everything. Sweet, the composter should be powered as well. Just need some sewage from that guy. And then that. Okay, there we go. Sweet, tree sorted. Now, this harvester gets slower as the more sludge it contains. So the last thing we need to do, uh, I got a void fluid pipe. It took me a while to get it because I needed to... Oh, let's check it down there. Is it not connected? Dang it! Ah! Uh, did I break it? I don't even know whether I broke it or not. Sometimes these in the IO pipes really irritate me because I'm not sure whether they ever like. I don't know why they don't connect sometimes. It's irritating. Oh, I need to go get a wrench. Bugger. I'll go get a wrench, but we'll connect the fluid pipe into the void fluid pipe, and then that should destroy any sludge, and therefore the harvester would should work a lot faster. Let me go get the wrench, and then we'll go call an episode. Because we'll have the tree farm sorted. Oh, this is beautiful. A beautiful giant tree being chopped down. Oh, that is beautiful. Everything is working. Ah, oh, so much wood. Yes! Wood. That's great. Okay, so I've got... I expanded this uh, to four because I had four sewers. Because when you, you, when you create sewers, you basically make four. So I decided to make four. Got all of these cows and I'll go breed them again eventually. Uh, sewage goes into composter, pretty simple, already showed you. And yeah, it's producing a lot of wood, I'm happy about it. Uh, this is a very good beginning piece of stuff we have uh, to begin with anyway. So that's really cool. We got the wood to go on. Now, all we need to do is get the resources for a turbine, which will require... No, we don't need endurium. I'm just thinking back to a previous clip. I think I said I needed Endurium. I don't need Endurium because I need more Cyanite. Oh dear. We shall see more of the factory setup, the self-sustaining power setup in future episodes. So I hope you're looking forward to those. But that is going to be doing it for the first episode of the Hypermind Resonant Rise 3 pack. Oh man, everyone left. We had Fluent and One Wolf and Draxon. Super, super cool. That's gonna do it guys. I hope you guys are looking forward to this series because I am <laughs> like definitely. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Cheers for watching guys and I'll see you guys next time.